Okay, so I am in my position to rest and enjoy these mosquitoes attacking me the whole time. But it's time for some chow, so let's see what random MRE I got today. Alright, looks like I got menu 11 here. Vegetable lasagna. Not bad. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But the fun thing about LARPing and getting dressed in all this tactical wear and not having to do it for real is I actually don't have to field strip this ration. I get to eat, you know, whatever I want and I don't have to pocket it for later, which is kind of normal. So this isn't really a, a real field review because you wouldn't even get to see everything in this in this MRE. Or, yeah, so most likely your main meal you wouldn't even get to have. So looks like I got my MRE heater and my vegetable lasagna and it's in the box. So that probably means that this heater will work, hopefully. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that down right there. And then <gasps> French vanilla cappuccino. I actually loved these when I was in. These things were awesome, but I never made them with anything hot. It was just like, tastes like some kind of different type of chocolate milk, you know? Is applesauce, this is gonna be regular applesauce, no fancy flavors like raspberry or anything like that, you know, peach mango or any of that crap. So this is a different accessory bag, and mosquitoes are going crazy over here, so I got my spoon. Um, elongated, so everything that I would have in here, I didn't get coffee, I got raspberry beverage base, which is really common, obviously, my salt, and I got a little Tabasco sleeve in here. Uh, and of course my not-so-toilet paper toilet paper, and uh, my actual toilet paper, which would be the moist towelette. So, <clears throat> put that off here. I'll get to that later. And then I got regular crackers, nothing really to, you know, get all excited about. And oatmeal cookie. These aren't bad at all. It doesn't even say trans fat free, which I'm happy about. Because uh, it does have trans fat. It has four grams of trans fat in it. So, <laughs> you know, that is interesting. Oh, and I got chunky peanut butter. Yeah, and uh, ain't that something? That's pretty fun. So, if you guys want to see like all this stuff. Ooh, and I got toffee cubes. This is some old school stuff. I remember I was getting these in some of the older MREs when I first got in. Little pieces of toffee. They're pretty good if I remember correctly. And so anyways, um, if you want to see like close-ups of all this stuff, you got guys like uh, Steve1989, uh, Gundog, um, you've got Nathan's MRE, oh crap, uh, Adwin Heath, and you got a lot of different guys that do, like, basically just MRE videos. Uh, Kiwi Dude. Uh, they all do pretty good MREs. Also, Dave, uh, Dave's 45 Auto. Uh, he's actually uh, kind of new on the block, if I remember correctly. But he actually does uh, pretty good reviews. But nobody does reviews like me, where you actually get outside and you show... Um, how these things are prepared. They would always they always lay them out on a tray, but at least you get to see how it's done, right? So, anyways, I'm gonna be sitting here whacking mosquitoes, so you'll just have to put up with that. So anyways, the one thing about these cardboard boxes is they're always extra trash, right? So the sleeves are supposed to be more efficient, but it's not really that great at heating. Like, you can just place this stuff in there and keep everything nice and tight together um, if you're gonna be able to heat it. Uh, <clears throat> It is what it is, but I always like this literature on the back. Um, if you wanted something to read that wasn't so boring, they would always talk about how to feed your body and why you need to have uh, certain things to prevent weight loss because rapid weight loss uh, leads to loss of strength, decreased endurance, loss of motivation, decreased mental alertness. So, yeah, ain't that something else? So anyways, uh, other than the government pointing out the obvious to us, us peasants that wouldn't know any better. And this is always a good trash bin, by the way. Also, if you're going to field strip your MREs, um, I wouldn't throw away the cover. This is a good waterproof cover for your MREs, uh, uh, or at least have a trash bag for your MREs for all the crap that you're going to have in it. Um, this is going to be able to fill up at least three or four MREs worth of crap. Uh, so if you fold everything down, keep it really nice and stuff. I've seen people fit these things into beverage bags. 
uh, fit all their stuff into a beverage bag. They break it down all tight and everything. And it, it fits into basically like a beverage bag being about the size of this MRE heater. And I got MREs, at, uh, mosquitoes eating me, not MREs eating me. But anyways, I like to work my food down a little bit. And got my canteen here. Oh, I just unsnapped my compass. Ain't that nice? <laughs> okay, so get my canteen out. And then, ah, they are all getting to me. I gotta bring my, gotta protect my forehead. Yeah, but they're still biting through this bandana, regardless. And here, well, do rag, I guess, since I got it in the do rag form. So, funny thing about the do rag, a lot of people commenting, you would never have that on. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. On deployment, we had these on all the time. And especially when the sergeant majors weren't around. Uh, we did what we wanted. So, it just depends on the unit you're in. If you like to, if your unit likes to go back to boot camp with you, um, then that's your fault. Every unit is going to be a little bit different. So, yeah, this is like an old school MRE heater where this thing just gets up and going right away. Okay, yeah, that's almost too hot to the touch. So here's the thing, with the MRE heaters, don't roll them up really tight. They need to be able to vent anyways, and they're going to vent anyways. So just a simple lay it back over the top heaters on this side, flap it over the top and just put it in there, um, making sure the flap's on top, not shoved down there. And then you just put it, I put it basically as horizontal as I can get it, really, because then the heater... The, the heater is able to get all of the meal, so I'm just going to lay that down almost vertical. So it's going to have a little bit of a tilt, but not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and put these gloves over here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make up this beverage, because I'm telling you, I am thirsty. So here's another thing. I'm kind of getting a, a monkey butt. You know, I'm getting a little butt hurt uh, looking over at this accessory bag because I get beverage base powder but I don't have a beverage bag for it. Almost every MRE had a beverage bag and whether people use it or not I mean hell they're good for waterproofing stuff for the most part as long as you make sure that there's not a leak in them they're pretty good at and usually they'll they won't hold air if they do if they're gonna have a leak so that's the way I would test them so I'm gonna go ahead and cinch this down a little bit take some of the air out pinch it over one because with this stuff Never trust the MR, uh, MRE zippers, or whatever, the Ziploc, I guess you could say. So fold it over a little bit, and then go to town on it. So, most of the time they're like, well, you can heat up the water and turn this into something or other. Well, most of the time, you're not going to have the time to do that. You're going to not getting... I wouldn't even have really time to enjoy this unless I was on post. And even then, my eyes got to be concentrated out there, and I just got to basically gaze down to see where my stuff is going so the only time you really get to enjoy chow is when you're on post for like two or three hours uh, when you're standing guard uh, in a HESCO post or whatever um, so yeah I mean you don't really get time to do all that and yeah it is what it is mm. man that's like French vanilla chocolate milk with like a hint of coffee. A lot of people talk about like heating up their water. Here's the thing. If you're going to heat something up, you're going to have to choose between heating up your fluids or heating up uh, your meal. And I could always go, especially since we were spending most of our time fighting in the desert, I could always go for cold fluids. So I had no problem with this. Our camelback water, I didn't like using a camelback um, for... Uh, for a lot because, uh, you know, them bursting and stuff like that. Uh, like if you had a heavy pack on and then you landed on it, um, <clears throat> yeah, you could pop that. And I have popped mine, so i uh, kind of disenchanted about that. But having some water in your pack to where you can use, like, for food or whatever is fine. Uh, I'm not sure what I would do about this beverage-based stuff because we did have water bottles uh, when we were deployed. 
and I would just shove water bottles. I didn't really have my canteens on me. All I had was a camelback, which was unfortunate, but I had to save space, and I would just throw water bottles in there. So that's it for the for that beverage. But anyways, 120 calories in that one. Take note. So 120 calories in that yoo-hoo, and 240 in the lasagna. Now we're gonna go to crackers. Now again, crackers and peanut butter, I don't typically put them together, but for you, I guess I'll endure it. Because typically I'll have my crackers on their own, but my favorite is wheat snack bread. I wish I could find whatever the civilian version is of that, the wheat snack bread, like if they made it for civilians or whatever, and just buy a bunch of that because I love that stuff. That is a snack for me. Um, and jalapeno cheese spread. Where are you going to find jalapeno cheese spread? If anybody knows, put it down in the comments, please. Because um, that stuff is just amazing. It's like the only cheese spread where it's like, I don't care about real cheese anymore. I want this fake, I want cheese's stunt double, as Pat Oswald would say. But, anyways. So the chunky peanut butter, I needed it a little bit. You know, kneading it as in, you know, crumpling it around a little bit. So here's the drama in the field. You could break these apart. But I see a lot of, I saw a lot of people when I was in not doing that. Since I just ate my crackers straight up, I'd break them into pieces or whatever. And throw a chunk in my mouth and let it dissolve. I mean, they have no salt on them. So it's like a hard saltine or a dense saltine with no salt. The old crackers did have salt, but my girlfriend, the way she remedies that, she takes the salt out of the uh, accessory bag and she puts the peanut butter on it and then she puts the salt on top of the peanut butter. I don't know, that's a lot of work. But some people actually make sandwiches out of this stuff. I couldn't do it. This stuff is too crumbly. I tried it like a couple of times, um, and it just didn't work. It just did not work for me. Always falling apart. <laughs> just like that. Duh. These Alaskan mosquitoes always go for the face. Kind of mean. Oh my goodness, I've got an army of mosquitoes on my arm. Ugh. They're army mosquitoes. The other thing about crackers that I never really liked is how crumbly they would get like all over you. You're always leaving a trace that you had crackers on you. So in the field, if you're wanting to leave no trace, probably one of the last things that you actually want to pull out and dig in on. Like, if you're on patrol and you're not worrying about little dogs following you or tracking or whatever, then whatever. But, yeah. For those of you that like to leave no trace and not be found, probably not the snack for you. But, yeah. I know I got frustrated all the time. And these things would fall apart on me. Okay, so... The crackers are done, and actually, let me go ahead and pull that stuff out for the caloric count. So, 180 calories on that one, and then peanut butter, always reliable, 250 calories, right? So it has extra vitamins in it that normal peanut butter doesn't have, and it even tells you that. I've gone over that in my other videos, so I don't want to beat a dead horse. So everything is fortified for a reason. <clears throat> They've actually got this interesting YouTube video that goes over, like, soldier food. It's from back in World War II where they were promoting like what they were doing with their K rations and C rations or whatever. How they're getting all the vitamins to the troops and how they finally discovered that they need vitamins in order to make the macronutrients like your proteins, your carbs, and sugars get to where they need to go throughout the body. So if you're deficient in minerals, that's what can help with malnutrition. You can't just pump protein into somebody and expect muscles to grow. They need vitamins to transmit that, right? So everything in these MREs is fortified with something like this stuff. 320% of your vitamin C requirements for the day. But, yeah, I mean, that's all this is really giving you other than a fuck ton of sugar. So, 
this is 4.5 ounces, <coughs> 128 grams, and it's got 26 grams of sugar in it. Mmm. Mmm, so sugary. So, apples, high fructose corn syrup. Why is that in there? It has no purpose. It's just to make it sweeter. Do I really need to care about that? No, I don't care if it's sweet or not. It's I'm just taking in calories at this point, which is 160. And then maltodextrin, sugar, water, and ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. So, yeah. Not to go on an organic rant here, but, you know, I don't think applesauce needs more dressing up. I could understand, like, needing a preservative or something for these containers, maybe, but I just think it's a waste trying to make this stuff extra sweet and everything. Now, I know that in the past, like, if you look at old C rations or K rations or whatever, they were very simple ingredients, but people didn't really like it. But that's when you make it up by throwing stuff in there, like the Canadian rations or others where they had, like, salts. They had spices in there and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Um, thank you. Anyways. Ooh. You know what's cool? It even has, like, hot pink or light purple writing on it. Chocolatos! So <laughs> it's always entertaining to see that kind of stuff. So this is basically the desserts and yeah let's see how they are. Mm. Kind of a mocha -y, mocha -y, mocha ish um, mocha, chocolate, yeah, not bad, yeah, like, like a chocolate, <laughs> so, yeah, they're not so bad, so, I'm going to finish these up and I'll see you guys at the main meal, it's about that time. Okay, so, mean meal time. So, I'm going to pull this one up. And, let's see. Well, it seems to be about done, so I've been yakking for long enough, I'm sure. So, I'll go ahead and see if this will tear. Tear notch is gone on this side. It's like it barely hit it. See, that's the thing with mass manufacturing, because they have to mass manufacture this stuff to make millions for people in the field, training, storage, just for in case of the zombies coming. Then you could have plenty of MREs to poison the population with, right? Because <laughs> it feels like poisoning if, uh, if you get this concentration of vitamins and stuff. And if, Here's the thing. If you sit on your ass and you don't do a damn thing, these things are going to make give you the shits. But if you're actually burning calories and shit like that, and you're actually fucking working and doing shit, then, you know, you're just going to have, you know, regular poops, probably. Um, that was always my experience. If I didn't do anything, I would be having the runs because I'd get a concentration of vitamins just flushing my system. But if I was doing a lot of stuff, then it was just meeting my needs. So that's a lot of stuff as they try to apply science to it. But anyways, um, you got tear notches on each side. I'm going to see if this works. If not, I will pull out my knife. But I want to give this thing a chance because it's very rare that I get these things to work. Oh, <laughs> and it worked. It didn't go, you know, notch to notch, but, you know, it went all the way across. So we're nice and opened up. And it smells good, but it doesn't look like the other side actually, you know, uh, heated up to like the melting point. It was just flat and then I just plopped it over But this side that was against the heater is good So hopefully we can mix it up and kind of encourage it to be more liquid than anything else So I'm gonna go ahead and salt the hell out of this Because um, I need it because I've actually been 
LARPing a little hard today. And I'm not just doing it for the fun of it, I've actually got to review all this crap. So, I've got that coming up in my future. So, if you're a regular follower of the channel, look forward to that. That'll be fun. But, uh, I'll try to put more details and real information in there rather than just opinions, but I'll talk about the history and stuff like that. But anyways, so yeah, it's mixing around, and I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up of this stuff. So, as you can see here, it's... I'm going to have to look in the viewfinder, so I'm not going to be staring into your eyes. So, you can see here it's got some beans in it, and, you know, obviously the pastas and stuff. So... It is what it is. It's not, you know, the most appealing looking meal. I mean, it's got a lot of green in there, which, uh, personally, when I make a lasagna, it's a meat lasagna. It's not really getting beans in there. Mmm. I'm so glad that had Tabasco in there. I miss that so much. Because newer MREs, it's like they skimp on the Tabasco. It's like they want to torture you or something. Maybe that's their way of keeping you in line and keeping you disciplined is to keep your food tasting like crap, uh, keep morale low or whatever. Um, I imagine the stress cards really come out at that point. But, anyways, I mean, it's not too bad. I know my girlfriend would never touch this as soon as she saw there was beans in here. I got my own my own comments and jokes about that, but anyways, um, I give her enough hell for it, so yeah, I'm okay with my area on the couch. Yeah, it feels it's comfortable. So every now and then I put myself there forcefully, right? But, I mean, everything is kind of. And on a serious note, as far as this lasagna is concerned, this pasta basically falls apart, turn, is basically mush. I mean, everything's cooked, obviously. I, I just imagine this would be a little bit bland. It might have a little bit of zest in there, but I think the Tabasco is really the only thing given a flavor to this. And I mean, like, flavor, not like, not like spice or heat or whatever. So, yeah, I... Other than the Tabasco, I'm not really getting much except for this metal container taste. Because each MRE, if you have it cold, it's almost like you can taste the metal. Because these are made out of, like, little metal panels that are just vacuum sealed together. And just like on tin cans, you can taste it. Some of the, some of the beans are still a little bit rough. Well, not rough, but firmish so that's nice as far as texture goes but the rest of it is just I won't say slime I guess mush is more accurate ah all these mosquitoes attacking me now they're finding their way up Ugh. I'm getting overran ah. be gone Satan's creatures okay all right Yeah, don't say bite me to a mosquito, because they will. Okay. That's really it for the lasagna. It's not bad, but I'm really glad they put the Tabasco in there. Again, not for the heat, but because the actual flavor and spice that the uh, Tabasco actually provides. It's way better than what you're getting right off the bat with this stuff. And my shirt is, or my blouse is pulled up from all the stuff I was doing earlier. Oh my. Okay, so that's why I was getting mosquito bites on my side. But anyways, I'm going to finish off with the oatmeal cookie after I finish this. Okay, so this is the oatmeal cookie and oh my goodness. Um, this is from 2012. The numbers are 2353. Three. So the 353rd day of 2012. Is how you read that? The first, first number on the four number Thing. That's the year it was produced, and typically every 10 years it's changed over or whatever as far as like the MREs being recycled and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, 2012, 
and it's now 2019 so this is almost seven years old it's like six and a half years old and it stayed pretty well it hasn't been kept in the best climate possible I'll tell you that much um, yeah the box was not in really that great a condition but this thing just fell apart on me which is very common for your desserts mm. yeah that MRE oatmeal cookie even though these things fall apart on you they're still pretty good but a little bit chewy is fine I wouldn't complain about that 280 calories so 17 grams of sugar the first ingredient is sugar then partially high hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oils enriched bleached wheat flour so yeah rolled oats egg uh, less than two percent two percent or less of cinnamon allspice liquid malt corn syrup baking soda and salt so there you go that's what's in this crap so as far as the uh, bleached wheat flour we got bleached flour malted barley flour niacin reduced iron thiamine mononitrate riboflavin and folic acid so it's got those vitamins in it so you now they try to pump some stuff in there to uh, try to replenish the energy that you're hopefully burning out in the field and not just being a couch potato reservist on your monthly drill but yeah Oh my. Okay. Well, now I'll finish up the oatmeal cookie and close it out. Okay, so. <clears throat> interesting hearty meal. It actually gave you a pretty good amount of stuff. My disappointment in this one is, surprisingly being vegetarian, it was actually pretty good because they gave you Tabasco, so that can turn any vegetarian into a carnivore, a carnivore meat, or a carnivore meal. Uh, I need to get some actual meat now, because uh, <laughs> obviously my brain is craving it now because it's being starved with vegetarian meals. So, anyways, um, one thing I'm disappointed in uh, is, yes, you get your French, uh, French vanilla crap, but um, your beverage base isn't in that in a packet that you can actually use, and that's a big problem because uh, you're not always going to get water bottles. But maybe the reason for that design is <clears throat> because most of these are planned to go overseas. I don't know, but it's pretty common. Uh, I don't like those little square packets that you get because obviously you can't use that container. Your beverage uh, beverage bag might be torn or whatever, so I would just rather have the container in with the powder. So unless the powder is unless the powder is leaked out then the container is still good but if the powder is leaked out of a container I don't know how you're really gonna harvest it unless you're very careful about taking everything out um, and you really care that much at that point anyways <clears throat> so anyways uh, not a bad meal uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue my LARPing uh, but anyways I appreciate you guys watching this and being entertained by my antics. Uh, it's kind of fun to get in, get in gear and uh, uh, be bitter. You know, good old times. Get bitter and worn out, and then do one of these uh, little uh, MRE reviews uh, in the field because I actually get to eat the MREs now instead of just being like, okay, this I'll put in my cargo pocket, this I'll put here, and very little ends up going in my pack because I'll just shove it in for patrols or whatever and eat on the move. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I'm going to get out of here before these mosquitoes kill me uh, from, you know, I die from blood loss or whatever. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and you guys have a good one.